All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay, and finally got my GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, this time I got a, they gave a free card, but this is an extreme card right here. I don't have any extreme cards, uh, but this 32 should be enough uh, to make you through. You can do some serious 4K with extreme cards. So here it is, man 12 megapixel, 4K, 60 frames per second, 33 feet waterproof, 1080p live streaming. Um, there's a lot to like about this one compared to the 7, and I'll get into that. And here is my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Was going to trade this, but was like, nah, I'd probably do better selling it. I can't give it, let it go for such a low price. But anyway, this 8 has the new, um, unshakable, they say, HyperSmooth 2.0. Now, remember, HyperSmooth uh, on this was really, really good. Uh, and it's got uh, the different, another difference is this doesn't have the mounting brackets built in and um, the 8 does. And then the 8 is also built different too when it comes to the battery door and things like that. So I'll get into that. Another plus to the 8 is it has something that I'm going to be purchasing every last one of them. I'm going to be getting the display mod, the media mod, and the light mod more than likely. The light mod being the, the least on my list, but I really want the media mod because uh, I can hook the display mod with that. So in order to basically do the mods, you have to go ahead and get the media mod. But the best part about the media mods, they don't start shipping until December, uh, but they're only 80 bucks a piece. Now let's get this going. I've seen a few people getting trolled with this. I don't know why they were getting trolled. Looks like I'm about to get trolled too, but nope. Oh, it's, it's sealed to that. So I'm not getting trolled. Went peace on it. All right. Here is my camera. Man, I'm pumped up. You have no idea, folks. This is something that I really enjoy. Having a nice GoPro. And right out of the way, boom. Oh, it kind of, it's nice, man. It kind of just looks like slaps into place i want to say it's magnetic but i don't nope it's not magnetic it's just really good hinges on there so i no longer need to buy a shell uh to use this uh i just need to get the uh my same brackets and everything and so uh, i have a lot of brackets for this thing by the way too so i'll give you a size comparison in just a second but if you look around it's got eight on this side here uh, and then you've got the power button under the eight. Then you got your capture key here, record or whatever. And on this uh, side, you have your battery door and your SD card slot. And obviously you see the clamps on the bottom for your brackets. Uh, yeah, and that is it on the front. You still got that little display. Wish this was a viewfinder, but oh well. So let's see what else is in here. Manuals, blah, 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 blah. I got some GoPro stickers. No one reads that stuff. And then, I wonder if the batteries are actually different. We'll find out, but there's the battery. And then here's the type C cable. And is there anything else in here? Nope, that's it. That is it, that is what you get folks for 400 bucks. <laughs> now this part right here, you wanna go ahead and, and take this off and, and use this, uh, this part you, you toss. So, wow, we are ready. Let's move all this aside here. And I got a 32 gig card here, uh, the extreme card. Uh, I might go ahead and use this, I'm not sure yet. I have other cards that are higher memory capacity. Uh, but here's the battery. I'm hoping that the battery is a little bit bigger. Let me get my bifocals here. Uh, I, did, uh, I can't see that. Let's see. 1220. Yeah, 1220. The battery looks a little different uh, than the other GoPros. Uh, so I'm hoping that these batteries still fit. This is the original GoPro. Yep, it'll still fit. They just put a blue top on there that's all and this battery is um 1220 and twelve twenty. so same battery size uh yeah but they just put a blue tip on the front of it that's all they did we'll come back to you in a second buddy we'll do a size comparison you know put them side by side but this is what you get uh so before i power this on and everything and we go outside let's go ahead and compare these so 
just looking at them side by side like this, they're, the GoPro Hero 8 uh, Black is a little bit bigger. Um, it sits a little bit taller. They changed the design a little bit, so you won't be able to use probably your same um, accessories. Like all the shells that go with this, they definitely won't fit the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, it's, it's bigger. It's taller. Uh, it's narrow. It's not as wide. But it's a little longer. Yeah. It's a little bigger. And you get these brackets on the bottom. So currently with the GoPro, you have to open it up like this and your SD card is down in here. It's really pain to get to. I'm sure it's probably going to be the same on here. But you can see here, there's a uh, speaker out going down right there. And then on the GoPro Hero 8 Black, they put it in the front. Right there. So, you're probably wondering, how do I get into this thing? So, it's on the side right here. You should be able to pull down or something like that. Or you pull, you pull, okay, so this is what you do. You pull out, you pull it down, and like this way down, and then you flip it up. And it's pretty stiff, too. It's pretty stiff. There's your Type-C um, port right there for charging. And then your battery goes down inside of there. So, let's, uh, the SD card goes in there. I'll get an SD card and everything put in here, uh, but I just wanted to show you the differences besides this uh, and the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, man, I'm super pumped. They changed this, the, the power button's over here obviously, and the power button's on that side there. And you have the microphone by the power buttons and everything. But I'm glad that I don't have to use brackets anymore. Let's peel this off. So you can get some sense of the screen. It looks like the screen is pretty much the same. Yeah. But they've just got the GoPro on the opposite sides and that's it. And this is where I'm going to do the LED indicators right there. But I'm going to get this powered up and actually set up and then we'll, you know, we'll go through everything. You don't need, the setup is the same as any other GoPro. Uh, but they made it a little bit bigger. So that eliminates you being able to use your accessories. Uh, and then they, um, oh, this is also raised. The GoPro is raised on here. And this is kind of just... Uh, painted on if you will for that one. So uh, this one f they feel about the same I think Yeah, but this one does have a battery in it. So <laughs> yeah, this is definitely probably gonna be a little bit he heavier then so uh, Anyway, let's get this uh, GoPro Hero 8 black fired up and um, I'll show you some comparisons uh, next to the GoPro Hero 7 black Okay, so I got it linked and everything. The battery is, was down to like 15%, so I charged it for a little bit. But I wanted to show you the differences when you're navigating the system compared to the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So in this, uh, you still, and obviously you can see there's, sorry, but the, you can see that there's some differences here just looking at the way it looks on the, the menu screen. So with this version here, you got, you got your digital lens right there. And so here, when you want to navigate to change, you can go wide and then super wide just by using that little um, lever on the side. And I think I, I like that a lot. Instead of having to go, uh, you can go this way too, but you'll edit there. But on the Hero 7 Black, you can go here and you have to you do it like this which is something that I never really liked. They've just kind of improved the, the menu uh, on here for sure. Uh, but we're gonna do some, um, let's go ahead and do some super wide. And then we'll change this one to uh, super wide as well. I'm just doing 1080p, make it easier on myself. And you got super wide right there. So let's go, uh, let's go out, let's go outside. All right, so here is the eight and here is the seven. It is so windy out here, folks, you would not believe. I live in a beautiful area, but it is always windy. So I just ran down the stairs, if you couldn't tell. I gotta get the Hero 7 Black on the charger. I just put it in super wide just to see how it will be. You can see how it goes here. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's change, let's change the viewpoint. Now here is linear. Linear is more of a straight on, just, just a straight shot. It looks like the quality on the GoPro Hero 7 8 is definitely a lot better. I mean, they make these improvements uh, and uh, you have to pay for them. <laughs> no, but the good part is both of these are the same price. You can trade in. You can trade in and get 100 bucks, but I wouldn't trade my Hero 7 Black. No way. I'll probably sell it or keep them both. So just look in here. The quality is definitely better on the 8. They made some improvements for sure. All right, so in the back here in the garage. Yeah, pretty, they both cover this red actually pretty good. It's super windy in the back of the house, folks. I apologize for that. But it's windy back here too. Uh, <laughs> So, I think what they've done is they've definitely made some improvements to the to the camera itself. The quality looks to be a little bit better. But I like not having to use brackets now, and I can just mount it, mount it, or like the shell. Because I really can't wait to get the color front flip, front flip up screen and then the extended microphone. It's going to be nice. 79 bucks. That's a steal. That's if you're into this GoPro stuff. Action cameras. Now, the real question is, should you upgrade if you have the 7? Uh, I would tell you probably not. You don't have to. I'm just into tech like that. So, that's just me. Uh, simple things on the front here. You can see that they've changed the way the front screen looks everything's kind of jumbo sized down here and kind of smaller on here but uh it was a windy day out so i'll have to shoot another video as well obviously because i want to make sure that um i give you some some sense of when it's not so windy but i was running down up and down the stairs i don't know if you could tell or not but i was <laughs> i'm a little winded <laughs> so anyway um let's power this bad boy off I don't. I still don't know if I would get rid of my seven, uh, but the the eight is definitely really nice. Um, I like the the new menu setup. This is what the menu setup looks like now, compared to the seven. If you had the seven, you know exactly what it looks like. Um, so this is kind of an upgrade from all the GoPros that appears. Uh, but you've got slow motion. You got all these different options here. Uh, I'm gonna you know use this for I use I use my GoPro for the car channel actually and vlogs and I also use it for the YouTube channel. My my ultimate goal was to pretty much sell this DSLR and just use the products that I I use in my regular life to um, and use it for YouTube. But now that they have a flip up lens, you will be seeing more GoPro footage. However, I don't like something on here already. Let's power this off here. Got to put it on the charger. One thing I one thing I don't like already is this door. The hinge is, and I know they do it like this because they have to have it sealed up. Uh, but you know, it's a tight fit, and so they got to keep that waterproofing there. But also getting to the SD card, it's a pain just like the other one. You know, getting that out is a pain just like the other GoPro. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna put this on the charger. I'm super excited to finally get this in, man. I mean, this, these products are expensive and you wanna make sure that you're getting your money's worth. And for me, I could probably run my YouTube channel with both of these GoPros, as long as I can get the mounts and everything from here. Like in December, at the recording this video, the, the new mods are not out yet. But trust me, I will be getting every mod. The light one, I don't know if I'm gonna get that one yet, but we shall see. But I'm definitely gonna get the media mod uh, and then um, the, uh, the flip up screen mod. Of the display mod that is just setting this up and i think they're genuinely taking a shot at high power cameras because these cameras they're not just action cameras i used to use the gopros to to shoot all the footage on my channel at one point and i still do use this one as a matter of fact i actually use this one uh for uh, one of my latest videos and i won't even tell you which one it is but uh anyway shaman j uh the gopro hero 7 black or gopro hero 8 black is here uh and i wanted to go ahead and do this unboxing this is what I'm talking about. This, that'll, that's gonna annoy me, man. I know it will. 
but I really, really, really like that they have these built in because having to take shells and stuff on and off of that seven was very annoying. You have no idea. Anyway, it's your man Jay. I'm gonna get this footage ready and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.